Me and the team at eFix love products that save electricians time, and today we're going to be looking at the Cavity Master from Superrod, a product designed to make it easier when working with floors that are covered in chipboard. What we're going to do is have a look inside the box at the contents, and then we'll do a practical demonstration on how to use the Cavity Master. So let's have a look what we can find in our Cavity Master box. So as we open it up, first thing you've got there is a user manual. Okay, just put that to one side. We've got our pilot drill, our quick hitch arbor, We've got our rebate plate and our variable pitch cutter. And if we look underneath, so just put that to one side, we've got these closure plates. They're really good. They're what's going to go over the top of the hole in which we drill within the chipboard floor. Let's have a go at that next. So I've peeled back my carpet, I've revealed my chipboard floor, and I'm going to drill the first of several access points with the Cavity Master in order that I can fish my cables under this floor. All it needs now is for me to assemble the Cavity Master and start drilling this first hole. So the rebate plate and variable pitch cutter already come bolted together, so they're bolted into position. It just requires us to use the quick hitch arbor and its pilot drill. So this quick hitch means that we insert these two pins inside here, meaning that the thread here doesn't go fully tight on here, meaning it's impossible to get it back off. So let's remove those pins back, position it like so, so we can screw it in. So we screw that down, simply turn it over, and then we just locate those two pins into position like so. So they've locked into position there, so it's nice and tight on the back, but obviously we can re-release it and spin it back off when we're finished. All right then, so we're ready now to drill our first access point. Here we go. Okay, so just brush that out a little bit. So we're almost down to the rebated section, so pop it back in again. Nice and steady. So there we go. So we've cut the hole, so the hole is complete, and now we've got this lovely little rebate, okay? What's that all about? So let's have a look at one of these plates. Means the plate can just sit flush on there, so we're back to finished floor now, so that's brilliant. You normally put a little bit of silicon around here just to hold it into position. I've now got my access point under the floor in order that I can wire. So I've cut three holes in the chipboard floor, ready to facilitate the wiring, which will be the next video. But do we think the Cavity Master will save electricians time? It was very simple to use. I love the fact you put a rebate in and you get the plates in order to cover the hole back over. So yeah, I think it will save electricians time. We've got to remember we've got to pack it away. This is where it's really key that we got those two locating pins in the right position. I just pull those back by simply doing that and then unscrewing it. And I can pop my Cavity Master back into the box ready for another day. The next video in this series will be wiring Cat6 cables under the floor. That means we're going to be using our mega set from Superrod, along with, in the next video, we're going to look at the ferret Wi-Fi. <laughs>